Okay, here's a, uh, another uh, thing. Uh, what is that saying? Good things come to those who wait. Uh, I need a scroll saw. I think I mentioned that I bought that oscillating sander and I thought it was exactly what I needed to help me make knives. Hold on, I just got a text. Okay. I'm on my way to go get... Oh, anyway, that oscillating sander, I used it twice and realized it absolutely wasn't anything I needed. And I don't do anything that I would ever need an oscillating sander for, so... I've got it on let go for sale for 100 bucks. I gave 150 for it at uh, Harbor Freight. And what I do need is a scroll saw. And the reason I need a scroll saw is because my bandsaw doesn't make tight enough turns when I'm cutting out handles. Uh, now, I don't need a scroll saw often, but I'll give you an example of why I need it now and why I'll need it in the future. Uh, I bought a very expensive piece of wood for the handle, and I can actually get two knives out of it if I'm very, very careful about how I cut. Uh, but some of the curves are too sharp for my bandsaw, so the only thing that'll make those kind of curves is a, a, a scroll saw. I may have said jigsaw, but I meant scroll saw. So uh, I looked, you know, all the good ones are three, four hundred bucks. And uh, I looked and looked and looked, and I found one on Facebook Marketplace for $50. It's a rigid, and rigid makes good stuff. So uh, that's where we're at on our way over to Shreveport to pick it up. And we got the whole gang, my wife and Billy. Say hi, Billy. You're 24 years old. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'll show it to you when I, when I get it. We brought our adult child. Our, our adult 24-year-old child. All right, that's it. I gave 50 bucks for it, and uh, it's going to do exactly what I need it to do. I just cut this little U-shape out here just to see if it would cut a, a tight curve, and it will. It's uh, kind of a quiet machine. I did a little research on it and I can buy uh, actually I can download the uh, catalog for it <clears throat> it is a rigid hey, and uh, let's see is there a model number no there are no model number huh Well, I did. I found a catalog for it. The uh, not catalog. Uh, owner's manual. Okay. Now that is for sale. Take a hundred dollar bill for it. Okay. Here is the uh, caddo that we've been working on on our live streams. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to just set it to the side. And uh, this Sunday we're going to shape this handle the first thing i'll do is put it on my saw and knock these pins off flush and then i'll put it on a big grinder and uh grind these sides down and then uh, i'll start working it on a big grinder the top edge anyway sunday at noon central time i'm gonna be doing a live stream this will be the third one and uh, after that, when we get the handle done, we'll uh, do a live stream making a sheath for it on Sunday at noon. So uh, uh, 25, 30 people are showing up. It's not uh, as, as interesting, I guess, as I thought it would be. Or maybe people are just doing stuff on Sunday. I don't know. But it's been fun, and I'm going to keep doing it. So if you're not doing anything this Sunday, drop in about noon. And... Uh, as soon as I can afford a new computer, a new laptop, uh, I'll be able to use my webcam. I've got a good webcam, 
and I have enough signal in here and 30 feet of cable so uh, I can put the webcam on the tripod and move it around and it's actually a better picture than my uh, iPhone is and sound is better too okay uh, I'm making uh, a couple of nice books and uh, I just wanted to show you my uh, grind lines I'm really happy with my grind lines they're just getting better and better. I don't want to jinx myself, but <clears throat> but uh, I'm getting better and better at making these grind lines come out just exactly the same on each side. And uh, this, I'm going to experiment with uh, a different finish. And this one, too. And the bottom line is, if it doesn't look good, I'll acid etch it and put it in the tumbler. But uh, I'm going to try and do a, uh, remember the scotch bright belt I have? I have three, uh, coarse, medium, and smooth. Uh, I'm going to try putting a finish on it with a scotch bright pad belt and see what that looks like. Okay, that's all for today. Or maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to, I thought I would get to heat treat this today, but I had to stop and... Uh, go over to Shreveport and get that. I think I already told you, but I gave 50 bucks for that, and it's a rigid, so that's a pretty good price. I looked at Harbor Freight, and you know, if you don't have to buy Harbor Freight stuff, it's probably best not to, because, uh, you know, you end up buying it more than once, and uh, the Harbor Freight one was 100 bucks. This was 50, and it's a rigid, and uh, probably at least twice the quality. Okay. All right, let me get back to sanding. All right, I just heat treated this. Now I'm fixing to go pop it in the... Uh, I heat treated it. I cleaned the oil off of it, mostly. Now... <laughs> Good Lord. You think I never handled a pair of pliers? It's still hot. I'm fixing to go pop it in the tempering oven. I'm thinking of making a a bigger uh, knife to replace my Bayou Chopper. And uh, I will call this the Bayou Chopper. But uh, it's going to cost a lot of money to build because I've got to use a quarter inch and uh, I'm going to have to send it out to have it heat treated. So right off the bat, I'll be into the blade before I do anything. I'll be into the blade about 45 bucks, maybe 50 between uh, shipping it out to have it. Uh, because something like this is intended to be swung and really, really used, uh, you know, hammered on and blasted through wood and chopping trees uh, I would want it heat treated professionally and tempered see the heat treating I can do the heat treating but the tempering uh, you know if you don't temper something like this exactly right and actually if you don't heat treat it exactly right at the exact right temperature uh, you know it can be too brittle or too soft so uh, if I sent this out and had it heat treated, and uh, if you look at the, the darkest part, I mean, I've drawn and redrawn, and, and uh, this is just a little, a little bit of a tip up at the end, and this is curved here, and the handle. I may make it a little bit fatter down here, like... Uh, not make it so skinny between here and here, maybe come down like this a little bit. Because on a machete like this, on something that you're gonna be swinging hard, you want a big beefy grip, but you want it fat on this end where it can't slide through your hand as you're swinging it. And uh, this, that's nothing there. It's gonna have this, this arc right here. Or not, I haven't completely decided. This is just one idea, and before I, before I make anything like this, I, you know, I'll leave this here for a while and think about it, and I may draw another one similar to this, and 
and make this area a little different. <clears throat> maybe <clears throat> because the edge would come up to about here, maybe having this curved thing here where your hand could uh, come up and, and hit the edge, maybe that's not such a good idea. So maybe it would be more along the lines of uh, this. Yeah. Anyway, I'll work on it. I just wanted to know that I'm planning on making a different Bayou Chopper, something bigger, uh, about the same length, but bigger, and uh, professionally heat-treated and tempered. Two, three, four, five, ten, twelve. Two, four, no, no, no. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-two, forty-two, fifty-two, sixty-two, seventy-two, seventy, uh, seven, eighty. Okay, that'll hold us. All right, I got some letters in. Uh, I had to order them online. Uh, they might be just a little bit big. I should have got them three inches instead of four, but I'm gonna paint them red and uh, use some two-part epoxy and put them on that big, uh, circular saw blade that uh, Redneck Prepper gave me. But uh, it's going to be a much warmer day than today. You know, I might go get it and bring it in here and let it start warming up because uh, I could do it in here if it was warm. Uh, I got the knife out of the tempering oven. I'm fixing to go to cleaning that up. Ah, another beautiful day in Texas. All right. Let's get coffeeed up and get the day started.